next we have uh, three more uh, sorry we have three equations to discuss very very important we'll use that at the time of load calculation so you see psychometric calculations you'll find three equation one is for sensible one is for latent and one is a combination nothing but total and you see directly i can use these equations for example you see first equation is qs equal to 1.08 into cfm into delta t second equation is 0.68 into cfm missing flow rate into delta w and third we have this total qt nothing but total heat transfer 4.5 into flow rate into delta h directly we can use in the calculation because the stand these are the standard equations and nobody will ask in interview how we got this equations because this is very commonly used in actual practice in hvac but as an engineer you should know how we got these equations because many have the confusion how we got this 0.68 from where we are getting this 1.08 etc so that's the reason i added it in the syllabus so as an engineer this is required not for interview point of view because repeatedly we'll use this equation at the time of load calculation for ventilation for infiltration and for so for to find out uh, at the time of psychometric analysis etc okay so here you can find the three equation but before this some important points to discuss which is highlighted you see the first formula qt nothing but total heat which is uh, required to extract by the coil equal to what sensible plus latent okay so how to get the sensible latent i'll show you but before this some important theory you see in most hvc calculation volume flow rate is used rather than mass flow rate remember this point we'll use in the equation next only you see instead of volume flow rate we are using sorry we are using instead of mass flow rate we are using volume flow rate nothing but i'm talking about cfm when change in temperature are small using volume flow rate rather than mass flow rate accepted because the air density doesn't change much in case of very high temperature difference it will change but the temperature difference in the hv system except very low temperature areas like in canada or in some location you'll find like minus 20 minus 40 that case is special case i'm not talking about that but in india in gulf in many location in even in many western countries the temperature difference outside to inside compared with that very low temperature is less that's the reason we are assuming that the density change is very little in that case that's because of that we are considering volume flow rate instead of mass flow rate remember this point we'll use in mass the next equation. Flow rate, sir. mass flow I'll show rate is I'll show convection you. i'll show you in the equation give me a minute just remember this point we are using this volume flow rate instead of mass flow rate so you see the formula first for sensible heat as before this uh, you must know this density also this value also will use the a density we are considering 0 0.075 pounds per cubic feet this is a standard like you know the water density or other fluid density similarly we have density of air this is a standard and this is an english system in metric system this number will change at this level what i'm using is english system so 0 0.075 pounds per cubic feet pound is a unit of weight and cubic feet is a volume so you see density means what the weight per unit volume no so this is a weight per unit volume I mean, unit volume here is one cubic feet okay so if you take one cubic feet of air volume the weight is going to be 0 0.075 pounds we'll use this value also in the next equation and apart from this uh, one more point uh, the specific heat of air 0.24 btu per pound of sorry pound degree fahrenheit and this is a specific heat of air i think remember at the time of chapter 3 we discussed specific heat of water nothing but at the time of learning btu so specific specific heat of water in english system is one because one pound is required for one pound increasing one degree fahrenheit one btu is required similarly for air 0.24 btu per pound for increasing one degree fahrenheit so this value also will use in the equation okay and and we have one more this specific uh, heat for vapor 0.45 but the quantity of vapor compared with the total air is very less so we are not considering this value anyhow let me show you this so first equation you see sensible heat the general equation mcp delta t as a mechanical you know in that we are considering m is what mass na? cp is what specific heat right so instead of mass flow rate 
here in calculation i'm using volume flow rate okay so you see instead of m i'm using this volume with the density and you see mass is what volume into density now so you see this formula instead of mass flow rate in hv you see we are using volume flow rate so instead of m i'm using this density and v and cp same and this t2 t this delta t also same t2 minus t1 and this may change to t1 minus t2 also as per the season at this level i'm using this term delta t because this should be higher temperature to lower temperature in summer this will be to minus ti in winter this is going to be ti minus to means inside temperature is more in winter no, compared to outside so heat loss in summer heat gain so at this level don't think that always you'll get or, or else t2 will should be higher so in here i'm considering as delta t we'll use that the time calculation will get the clear right? at this level just focus on how we got the equation so now you see the density what we discussed just now 0 0.075 pound per cubic feet and uh, here we are multiplying with the 60 y 60 because we required the result in hour and here this volume we are using in cubic feet per minute okay so this is for minute means i want result in hour no? so this is a conversion and 0.24 is what specific specific heat right and t2 minus t1 is same so if you multiply 0 0.075 into 60 into 0.24 you'll get 1.08 so many have the confusion how we got this 1.08 that's the reason i add this one so we got this from the specific heat and the density and the 60 is just a conversion don't get confused to get the result in btu per hour and this is the sensible heat this qs is what sensible heat and this will use at the time of heat gain through ventilation heat gain through infiltration for sensible or for example when the air in and out so how much heat given to this coil or extracted by this coil for sensible you can find out this e with this equation or else if you're still if you're not getting this how to use don't worry when we use at the time of application means at the time of load calculation we'll get the clear idea at this level memorize this we'll use at the time of calculation in some books instead of 1.08 you may find 1.1 because this uh, density and specific uh, density is going to be specific heat you may find slight uh, change in number as per the standard okay so don't get confused 1.08 or you may find 1.1 in carrier handbook uh, you'll find 1.08 in asher handbook you'll find 1.1 1.1 or 1.08 the difference is 0 0.02 now so you can ignore this you can ignore this one so don't get confused so this is the equation for sensible similarly equation for latent how we got this 0.68 you see the formula mass hv hv is what this is a latent heat and you know latent heat of 5 is 335 kilojoules per kg at the time of unit of refrigeration we discussed now similarly this latent heat for the air 1065 btu per pound means if you want to convert one pound of water to this to convert to steam how much heat energy is required 1065 with the standard conditions so again m i'm considering in volume flow rate so instead of m density and volume hv is nothing but this latent heat you see latent heat of evaporation we have the value 1065 standard value this is in video per pound and we are using the same so you see in equation density this 60 is a conversion this is a hv nothing but the latent heat and why this 1 by 7000 you see like 60 minutes per hour we are using a conversion similarly we are using this 1 by 1000 for conversion why because here we are using this pound and this delta w this w o w2 and w1 nothing but delta w no? nothing but hematite ratio in the 
in the calculation remember we'll use this in grains per pound or else you can find out in this formula or in actual practice also will follow the same you see w2 minus w1 or omega actually omega is uh, we are writing at the time writing we are considering as w so nothing but humidity ratio so w2 minus w1 nothing but delta w change in humidity ratio in grains per pound so we require conversion uh, and this 1065 is what btu per pound so this is again conversion because you know this one pound equal to 7000 grains we discussed this point at the time of uh, psychometry right one pound equal to 7000 grains conversion so this 60 is conversion to get the result in hour and this 7000 also conversion to get the result in to use this tablet on this humidity ratio in grains per pound of dry air so finally i got this 0 0.68 you see 0 0.075 multiply with 60 multiply with 1065 multiply with 1 by 7000 or is instead of 1065 you can use 0 0.15 I directly have given this btu per grain convert value so instead of 1065 you can use 0 0.15 and you can remove this you'll get the same result but this is com most commonly used value for latent heat of uh, uh, this water. So here 0.68. So this is a factor based on the specific heat and the density of water. So the result, the equation is QL equal to 0.68 multiplied with the CFM flow rate that, that this will calculate for the total air or for fresh air or for infiltration air what, what as per the case with the delta W. Why delta W? Because we are talking about latent in case of sensible delta t and i think remember we discussed at the time of psychometry delta t used to find out the sensible heat of air na? so that's the reason delta t nothing but i'm talking about tribal temperature na? t2 minus t1 both are tribal so tribal temperature is used to find out the sensible heat of air and this humidity ratio will use to find out the latent heat of air okay because this is re related to the moisture na? so remember this equation we'll use at the time of calculation very very important and this 0.68 in all the handbooks you'll find 0.68 only there is no change in this for sensible 1.1 or 1.08 you'll find some changes with the different handbook but this 0.68 is fixed you'll not find change in the different handbooks similarly you see this two equation to find out sensible latent if you know this delta t and this delta w with the required flow rate we have one more equation with that we can directly find out the heat if you know the enthalpy here this is for total if you know qs and ql Q, uh, this qt is equal to qs plus ql directly you can find it or else we have direct formula for this total heat you see here mass multiply with the h2 minus h1 this h represent what enthalpy change in enthalpy okay and enthalpy you know it's not just a dry air now enthalpy is what summation of the enthalpy of dry air as well as the moisture so this will cover both so here m again i'm writing pv volume flow rate then h2 minus h1 so if you know this difference one can use this formula so you see again this density the 60 is a conversion and we are using this cfm h2 minus h1 so 0 0.074 multiply by 60 4.5 is a factor multiply the cfm with the delta h okay so one can use this formula if you know this delta h or is commonly we are using uh, because we can find out delta t and delta w with the psychometry chart with the conditions of uh, the air so we can use this qs and ql formula if you know this delta h one can directly use this formula even at the time of coil designing this will help by the man from the manufacturer okay so these are the equations just memorize this we'll use at the time of load calculation how to use we'll discuss in detail you see in all this formula this flow rate is unknown anyhow delta t delta w delta h in some cases we can find out using psychometric chart but about this flow rate is important for that we have a separate calculation and this flow rate this uh, flow rate means i'm talking about the cfm this will this can be the total fresh air sorry this can be the total supply air or this can be a fresh air this can be a return air this can be the infiltration air etc okay so whatever the case we can use this formula to find out the heat gain through that air so with this we did this uh, psychometry chapter four but still as i said no psychometric analysis contact factor and bypass factor is a part of psychometry that we'll use at the time that we'll discuss at the time of chapter seven okay mm -hmm.